So with all the recent rumors and speculation about Generation 5 remakes or Black and White 3 or like an open world Legends game, I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a Gen 5 remake wishlist. So I do think that Gen 5 remakes will eventually come. I don't really think it's going to be anytime soon. I feel like it's going to be on the next console, so it's probably going to be in like five years. I think we're definitely a good bit of time away from a remake, but it's still kind of a cool topic. You know, it's really relevant right now, so it's kind of fun to think about. And there are definitely some things that I'd like to see in the remakes whenever they do come out. So I know everyone says what I'm about to say, but I really don't want it to be an exact one-to-one -one remake. I'd like to see something a little bit different with the storyline or maybe add like a twist to it. I don't have anything like specific that I can really think about, but I have one small idea. So if they were to make the storyline a little bit different, I think it would be really awesome to see what they would do if Pokemon Grey came out. I know Pokemon Grey was never an actual game. I don't know if it was in production or not, but if you don't know what Pokemon Grey is or was, it would have basically been like the third game to black and white, kind of like how Crystal is the third game to gold and silver and everything. And the third games typically have a little bit different of a storyline. Like it's not majorly different, but it's a little bit different to make itself stand out from the other two versions of the game, the original two versions, so, you know, can get more sales and stuff, of course, but it always, they always have, like, just a little bit different of a storyline, so I think if they were to do Black and White Remake, I think it'd be great to see whatever they would have done with Pokemon Grey, and I know that they said they didn't do Pokemon Grey because they thought it'd be more fit to do Black and White 2, which... You know, I agree with, but I feel like they could still come up with a storyline that's just a little bit different from the original black and white games that wouldn't affect anything in the grand, you know, storyline. Like, it wouldn't affect black and white 2 at all, and it wouldn't affect whatever else they're gonna do. Because, you know, they might be doing, like, a Legends game, or possibly even black and white 3. I also heard people talking about if they did make black and white remakes, it'd be kind of cool to see a mix of black and white and black and white 2 in that remake. Because if they're going to make remakes of every single Pokemon game eventually, that means Black and White 2 remakes would come after Black and White. So it's like, why not just combine that into one storyline, but make it a little bit different so you're not, you're not just like playing the same exact game over again. But I feel like that would be possibility and it would be kind of great to save money because Black and White 2 are so expensive to buy. It's crazy. I think they're like roughly $150 in that range and black and white are also pretty expensive. They're probably like $80 to $100. Might be a little bit off on those prices, but relatively that's kind of the area that they're in. So it'd be kind of just like an ultimate game. You know, you, you start off with black and white and then you end the game off at the end of black and white too. I think that'd be really awesome. The thing I'd personally like to see the most with any Gen 5 Unova game would definitely be lore about the original dragon. But the thing is, I don't think that they could really incorporate that into black and white remakes because it wouldn't make sense. It would kind of alter the entire storyline. So whenever we do get anything about the original dragon, I really hope it's either with black and white three or a legends game. I think those are the perfect opportunities right there to give us a whole backstory about the original dragon, because you know, if it's a legends game, we're going to go back in time or something like that. And if it's black and white three, it's just the, there's so many opportunities. They could do whatever they want. And the original dragon is, is extremely mysterious. Like we don't know what it looks like. We don't really know much about it. So that would be perfect for that. But I don't think I'd want to see the original dragon in a black and white remake. And if we do see it in a black and white remake, I hope it's very brief, honestly. Even though I really want to know more about it and see a lot of it, I don't, I don't think it's fit to be in a black and white remake. More content in general would also be really nice. Like maybe some more online features to play with friends or some type of battle system where you rank up your trainer level, you become stronger with your team and everything. So I'd love to have something else to grind other than, you know, like the regular storyline or just leveling up my Pokemon, you know, attacking NPC trainers. I feel like a leveling system where you start off as level one and the more battles you win against other people online that are also trying to rank up, you earn more rewards and XP, maybe like every 10 levels you rank up, you get like a rare candy or you get some more Pokeballs or maybe if you reach like level 100 or something like that, you receive a special Pokemon that you can only get by reaching a certain level in that system. So this next one is kind of controversial. Like, I don't really care if it's not in the game or anything. I just think this would be kind of neat. So I think Mega Evolutions would be a sick addition to a black and white remake. I really like Mega Evolutions. It's my favorite type of like Pokemon uh, like gimmick, I guess I'll call it. Like, you know, it's Scarlet Violet, you have Terrestrialization, which I didn't really like Terrestrialization, to be honest. I thought it was kind of boring almost. But I feel like Gen 5 Pokemon designs are already really great. So I feel like 
there would be so many great opportunities to have so many different mega evolutions of gen 5 pokemon and i think i could do some crazy designs i don't want them to rush a gen 5 remake though i really don't want them to like lack any content or make the animation style look a little bit funny i really would want them to take their time whenever they're gonna do this gen 5 remake like uh brilliant diamond and shining pearl had the chibi art style which personally i didn't really mind i mean i thought the games were fun but they weren't anything crazy but i definitely enjoyed my playthrough of brilliant diamond but a lot of fans did not like that style at all. A lot of people hated that chibi art style. I mean, I understand because it's like, if it's a remake of an old OG Pokemon game when, you know, Gen 4 was Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and Gen 5 would be black and white, I'd rather just have like a polished version of the original graphics rather than something completely new. Because if they're going to do something completely new with the graphics or animation style, whatever, just incorporate that into the modern day Pokemon games. You know what I'm saying? Like they've been doing that with the Switch and stuff, the Switch Pokemon games recently. Every single Switch Pokemon game has pretty much completely unique and different graphics and animation style, whatever, which I think is great because they're, you know, exploring. But I don't want to see that with a remake. If it's a remake, I really want to play the game as it kind of was. Like for example, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, in my opinion, did a great job with the animation style because it was extremely reminiscent of the original games. And I know that game came out on the 3DS and, you know, hardware, software, everything back then was a little different. That was, like, that's almost 10 years ago now. I think that was eight years ago about when Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby came out. So, you know, technology has advanced. So, of course, they could do more with their animation style, but, but they could definitely still do a extremely polished version of Gen 5 still have it be very similar to those original graphics animations but make it you know just a little bit more modern if that makes sense i don't know if i'm explaining this part correctly because i don't really know much about graphics or animation style and stuff like that i know a lot of people really don't want them to touch the original black and white games they just don't want to remake because people don't want them to ruin the original games for them but honestly i'm all for it gen 5 is my favorite generation so of course i'd love to see a remake of it but of course I would want it to be a great remake. I wouldn't just want it to be, like, I wouldn't want it to just be some random, poorly thought out game. You know what I mean? But the worst that could happen if it's not a good game is that I just didn't enjoy it much and then I could just go back and play the original ones because it's not like the original black and white are going anywhere. They're always going to be there, of course. You know, it would just be kind of fun to play it again on a modern console. It's like, you know, it's not like the OG games are going to be obsolete or disappear. They'll always be there. And Gen 5 is always going to be a really fun game to play. So I think it's great if they're going to do a remake for it. I think it's inevitable too. They're definitely going to do it. I'm going to predict right now, I'm going to predict 2026 or 2027 will be the year of a Gen 5 remake. Also, something weird about Gen 5, I feel like people either love it or just hate it. Like it's never in between. It's always one or the other. I don't know why, but I feel like anytime I read anything online or hear or hear people talk about it, it's literally, oh, I love Gen 5 or dude, I hate Gen 5. No one's ever in between, which is kind of weird, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Please let me know what you guys would want to see. I'm sure I'm missing some things that I would love to see in a Gen 5 remake, so please comment down below if I missed anything or if you have any unique ideas. I'll see you guys in the next video.